That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce the White Pieces? Oh, 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 Stunning maneuvers! 
stunning maneuver. Big round of applause for our bishop. And it's time for the H pawn. That's right. The H pawn's going to take a single step forward, landing on H3 to threaten that bishop just after that long move. So what's our bishop going to do? Gonna one away like a widow scaredy cat. That's right, Red Bishop moves to H5. This is gonna let the C pawn on white, the pawn on C2, step a single step forward, landing on C3. That's right. Big developments on the left wing for white, that's for sure. My lady, it's time for the Red Queen. She's arriving, finally. The Red Queen is gonna move from the D8 position all the way to the B6 square. The big guns are coming out now. I, I had a Yas Queen. Can we get a Yas Queen audience? Yas Queen. And it's time now for the knight on B1 to move out to the A3 square. Knight A3. And I've got to ask our chess masters, is this a good move? So you, usually, Jester, we would say a knight on the rim is ugly and dim. A knight on the rim is ugly and dim! What a good thing. That's right, this could be the killer move. The red team are laughing, but they might be laughing on the other side of their face. Next up, red moves the pawn of A7 to A6. <laughs> Stunning maneuver. Seeing this, the white bishop on the B5 square says, oh no, this isn't for me, takes one step back into the left to A4, Bishop A4. But the Red Queen, she smells blood in the water. And by that, I mean she's also going to run away. The Red Queen is going to maneuver to the C7 square. That's right, a lot of tactical retreating going on. Who knows what will happen next? Well, I know, so I'll tell you. Aha! On B5 exerts a terrible pin on the knight on C6, which cannot move because it would be check. And knowing this, the tactical genius of the Red King decides to try and safen up his position. That's right. The Red King is going to castle to the Queen's side, ending behind the Queen on the C square, and the Rook is going to jump over the King. Stunning work, my liege, and the rook will find themselves on the other side of the king, protecting his left flank. Shazam Alam. The queen just said, mummy's here. That's pretty good. But next up, we have the pawn on the B2 square. The brave little pawn is going to take two steps forward, landing behind the bishop. It's all been quite peaceful for quite a while, but I think that's all going to change when the Red Bishop on the H5 square charges the knight, taking his life! It's like watching doom come unto us. Oh! Split the knight asunder! Oh! Oh, is there no end to the brutality? Won't somebody please think of the children? Yes, we've got some booze over here. Boo! Boo! But, anyway, I'm, 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 I'
The Axemen was far too confident and they left their flank open for the incredibly stylish G2 Pawn to move in and gain revenge on the poor Bishop. Yay! Oh, I don't care where you're from, that's gonna hurt! <laughs> Yay! Glorious. Now we have a red pawn in the centre of the field who's about to go further than any pawn has gone so far in this match. That's right, the c rank pawn takes one step forward and officially crosses the centre of the board. Ooh. Ah. Now seeing that, the white d rank pawn thinks that's a really good idea. I might do the same thing and also takes one step forward. Oh, oh, phenomenal work, phenomenal. And it's time for the left flank knight to finally make an appearance on the battlefield. That's right, the red knight moves from G8 to F6. Too far for the pawn in the center. That's right, this mighty pawn right here is going to capture on d5. e4 captures red pawn, d5! <laughs> Fatality! <laughs> the red king has no idea what to do right now. So they order their mighty knight to strike out. They're moving from D7 to B6. Knight B6. That's right, White's queen is under threat. But is she gonna take that lying down? No siree. White queen moves from A4, one step to the right, landing on B. But that's not the end of the bloodshed, no! For the white pawn on B5 looks at the knight on C6 and says, Prepare to die! Oh, that's right, it looks so innocent. It looks so nice. What will happen? Oh, you've been diced! Seeing their compadre struck down by a pawn says, Not on my watch. And the red knight on B6 captures the white pawn on D5. Sure! Oh my, oh me, oh my. Chichika, ra, ra, chichika, ha. Now it's time for... Wherever the black queen moves, the white queen will go to A6 with check. And the black king will be fatally exposed. It can't go to D8 anymore. It can't go anywhere. It'll be murdered. Murder most foul on the B file. So in this position, the Russian Grandmaster Sergei Tivyakov resigned to the then UK number one Michael Adams. Oh, and the game was over. Any... You look like you've got this. It's fine. Go back. And the king runs, ladies and gentlemen. Power run. Power run. Amen.
maybe next time, Red, maybe next time. But today, ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause for your winners of this game, the White Pieces! Our cheating. Unlucky Red, unlucky. Better luck next time, guys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna head off for half an hour, but we will be back with a completely new game. A game that will tantalize you, will entertain you, and leave you going, wow, chess. Am I right? So be back here in about half an hour, when we bring you more chess sensations.